Hello and welcome to Colin's Time to Bake, Baking with the Bake Off. Today the technical bake is Kugun Kunama Kugin Kunin Hello, yeah? Queen. So it's quick, like Queen. Like 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 Liz. Queen a man. So time to get the ingredients ready. One, two, three. Ta -da. In a freestanding mixer bowl or just a bowl, you need to add 300 grams of flour and then into that on one side you need to add one teaspoon of salt and then five grams or one teaspoon of fast acting yeast to the other side of the bowl. Into this you need to pour 200 milliliters of warm water and 25 grams of melted butter. You use a slow speed for one to two minutes to mix it all together and then after that you need to put it onto a medium speed for six minutes. So that's been two minutes and that's enough of that. Now you put onto a lightly floured surface and make into a ball. Place into a lightly oiled bowl and then cover in cling film and leave to rise for one hour. To keep us busy for the next hour we need to sandwich 250 grams of unsalted butter in between grease proof paper and then roll it out into an 18 centimeter square. It's proving a lot harder than I thought. I don't have a ruler, so I'm gonna go with this is correct. Once you've made your 18 centimeter square, or in my case, shape of butter, you need to put that in the fridge until you're ready to use it. Once it's been proving for about an hour, pop it back onto a lightly floured surface, and then you need to roll it out till <laughs> <laughs> Oops. So, you need to roll it out to about 20 centimeters square. Again, not really having a ruler, I'm just going to guess because the next part is involved putting the butter onto the top. Check out that chilled butter. Solid. <laughs> right. So that's what I'm that's what I've done. So I've now got to fold over the corners so it looks like an envelope. This is not going to work. Yeah, that's beautiful. I have to now roll the dough into a rectangle. So let's let's fix this somehow. <laughs> oh, it's a disaster. So you need to make a 45 centimeter by 15 centimeter rectangle. I now have to fold the bottom layer up, top layer down, and then cover in cling film and put in the fridge for 30 minutes. I've got to do this two more times. After the third time of doing this, you need to then roll out the dough. It's supposed to roll it out into another rectangle and then sprinkle with caster sugar. So we're just gonna do that now. If this works out at all, I'm gonna be well pleased. <laughs> what am I doing? Once you have your 40 by 30 centimeter square, you just sprinkle on a little bit more sugar and then you cut into 12 pieces. You now need to grease a 12 cup muffin tin for the pastry to go in. Now you have to gather each square, or in my case slightly rectangular, place into the muffin tin exactly... <laughs> oh man, I am... If I was in the Bake Off, I would be going out this week. What a mess. So you have to gather up the corners so it looks like a four leaf clover. And <laughs> this doesn't look anything like it. Anyway, uh, you put it into the muffin tin and then sprinkle again with caster sugar and you leave to rise for another half an hour. Preheat your oven to 220 degrees or 200 degrees if you have a fan oven. But I'm clearly failing this whole thing. <sighs> After waiting for another 30 minutes for it to slightly puff up, which it hasn't, and put it into the oven for 30 to 40 minutes. Well, they're out, but they don't look cooked in the middle. This is not a successful bake. Yeah, that is not cooked in the middle. Huh. <laughs> it tastes okay, but... I'm gonna have to redo this whole thing. These are more like what I'm supposed to have. A slight comparison test to the ones I made on Friday night and the ones I made today. Let's just say today looks a little bit more successful. However, once opened, both the... Friday nights and the Sundays ones are perfectly fine inside. So the lesson I've learned here is do not start baking something that takes three hours at eight o'clock at night. Quick test to the new ones though. Mmm, yeah. 
Don't forget you can catch me on Twitter, Facebook and then click the big red subscribe button down below. So thank you very much for joining me. My name is Colin. This is Colin's Time to Bake. Baking with the Bake Off.